this is an update to um, the Peter Lynch portfolio uh, Y charts. Um, it does a screen for small cap companies uh, with a low peg ratio and a reasonable debt to equity ratios and have something of a dividend to come up with a list of 35 stocks that kind of resemble a uh, Peter Lynch like kind of um, investment. Um, so yeah, I kind of uh, do a update on this um, uh, on this list every once in a while so um, right now I'm going to be taking a look at this guy right here this company cross timbers royalty trust this is just a quick overview um, the ticker symbol CRT <clears throat> I don't, keep in mind I don't know a lot about this company uh, or any like a lot of these companies I'm just doing like um, a really quick summary of uh, some of the stocks on this list so uh, it's not a recommendation make sure you do your own due diligence if you're thinking about investing in these um, uh, okay so cross timbers royalty trust is a united states based trust its principal asset is the net profits interests the net profits interests are derived from producing royalty overriding royalty interests and working interest properties a lot of jargon. <laughs> um, the underlying properties of the trust include producing properties in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico. So I'm guessing this is oil and gas um, royalty trust. So it is getting royalties from energy producers. <clears throat> and um, yeah, this list lately has been filled with like oil and gas royalty trusts. There's a lot of them because, uh, you know, oil and gas has been doing fairly well recently and there's a lot of bargains in this industry. So the royalty trusts have uh, been seeing some pretty decent uh, returns um, as far as dividends go. Like this thing here is like 120 million. Uh, it has a dividend yield forward of almost 11%. Um, this is a bit of a broken record. I, I am a broken record when it comes to this. There's a lot of oil and gas royalty trusts. They all kind of are the same. Five-year revenue growth, 13%. Recently, quarterly year year growth, 61%. EPS, five-year growth, 14%, but has been booming lately. EPS diluted, 66%. Debt to equity ratio, 0%. Return on equity is wild, is 377%. Uh, has a P ratio of 10. Um, it's weirdly come off its high recently. It was a February 15th, 16, 17. It was almost $30 a share. And um, I'd be interested to know why it's had such a like quick and steep decline uh, in its uh, share price. Is that just because of what's happening with the price of oil? I don't really know. Um, well, oil is volatile, that's for sure. So is gas. So, uh, anyways, the key stats here has no long-term debt, uh, just under two million in cash and the balance sheet. Um, yeah, I mean, like with these royalty trusts, it's basically all about the like the dividend and what you're kind of getting out of it. So. Um, Shares outstanding six million. Um, the dividend yield is ten percent. I mean that's pretty healthy. Um, yeah, I mean this looks like again like another one of the oil and gas royalty trusts. There's so many of them. Um, I should probably do a video on um, PBR Petro. Um, Petro Brazil, I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, they have like, um, I think it's a dividend yield of like 70% or something like that, something wild. So it's like the national oil and gas company uh, for Brazil. And um, I guess the reason why it's just so cheap is because it's um, in Brazil and uh, there's a lot of political risk there. But um, for those who are Maybe a little bit more speculative. They could definitely find some bargains there because, like, yeah, it has a, a yield of like seventy percent or even more. I think I can I have to double check, but um, 
uh, this is a common theme with a lot of like oil and gas companies. Um, seems to be like a good space to be in. There's a reason why uh, Warren Buffett has invested in Occidental Petroleum uh, as much as he has, as well as Chevron. I think he's also um, been buying a lot of lately. Um, yeah, oil and gas is here to stay, and money's being made and there's not a lot of people who are interested in <laughs> I guess making money in oil and gas because it's just I don't know I guess they I don't know their, their reasons but um, yeah I think it's a, a pretty good place to be there's definitely bargains to be had whether or not cross timbers royalty trust is one of them I'm not sure I mean if anybody knows anything about this company and um, they want to share please feel free to like uh, share in the comments. Uh, we'd all love to hear your thoughts, I'm sure. Um, in any case, um, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, updating this channel with um, any changes to this Peter Lynch portfolio. So if you wanna kinda keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can also go to my website, peterlynchinvestor.com, where I also um, keep this list of uh, 35 stocks uh, on there and update every once in a while whenever there's some changes. Um, so you can subscribe there as well and get an email anytime there's a change. So yeah, check out the website as well. And um, that's that for now. Thanks.